OK, day eight, March 20, as we leave Grunja Creek. After our beautiful snacks last night, thanks to Dad, we've got up extra early. We're trying to make today a little bit further because uh, we've got to make up one day somewhere. So we're at least taking a chunk out of that today. Um, we're all feeling pretty good. Blisters are under control. Yep, and um, sore feet at the end of each day, which is to be expected. But um, no majors, touch wood. Um, here we go. Looking forward to it. Looks like we might get a bit of rain today though. So if we can put in as many k's as possible early, well, hopefully, if we do get stuck at a hut, hopefully a hut, <laughs> um, we'll be right. So onward we go. We're making our way out of White Horse Hills campsite, which we just stopped for some lunch. It's about 12 o'clock. Yep, smashed out this morning 16 k's. So we're gonna see how we go. Um, towards the next campsite, Mount Wells, I believe. And um, anything with a mount in it knows you're going uphill. <laughs> but um, yep, let's we'll see how we go. We've kept the same lunch, the Vita Wheats with the John West iron bean mix, uh, tuna and bean mix, because we love it. It's easy and it fills us up. So we've stayed with those. And hopefully um, when we get to dwelling up, we'll be able to restock, but we may have to change, obviously, according to what we can get hold of. So look at this beautiful bush. Brett's giving me a bit of a charge up, hence why we're back on video. But there may be more stills and videos so that we can make sure that we get to share as much as possible with you. One of the beautiful things about the Bivouac is you go through such different track conditions and it's just always beautiful and always amazing. We've got a beautiful sunny sky for the rest of today. Just walking across this granite outcrop and back into the bush. Just magic. Beautiful bush. So we're really cracking through this uh, second leg of 16 which is a good feeling. Although the, with the sun, it definitely does slow you down. You end up drinking a lot more fluids, so you've got to take that into consideration with what you're carrying. But look at this bush, just magic. Well, at the end of day eight, we made it to Mount Wells. Now, let me tell you, 32 k's, ouch. 16 before lunch was not too bad. Clouds covering the sun and it was okay. And we started really strongly on the second, coming up to Mount Wells. I may or may not have cursed Mount Wells. Yes, our, it is a great little hut, which we thought we would show you. Oh, albeit slowly on very soft feet. All right, that's where we'll be sleeping tonight. It's in like a room. And look, feels um, very cute. It's like one of the old homesteads that were here. Briani Poo is signing in the, this is just a, a, another room. There's nothing in here. Oh just like 
single bed maybe if you don't want to sleep with us. <laughs> so, so that is Mount Wells. Toilets down there. Water tank and tomorrow, the road that leads out. <laughs>